hello today i will show you how you can use uh, modify the navigation page and you can see that i have logged in as anika and she as she has not taken any book from the library you can see these words here in red line inside our navigation um, and we don't want to show this uh, whenever someone doesn't take any book or someone has returned or the time has expired so we need to add some condition before this uh, before we show this timer so for that we can use our previous queries um, and you can see that we have actually opened the student side navigation page not the navigation page inside our library folder so here you can see we have used a condition for login checking the login option but you can see whenever we want to ins enter inside our student side we need to actually log in before that we have actually created our common login page for that uh, we actually um, log in and inside any admin or student side then we can enter so we don't need this if else condition anymore we actually needed this before but not anymore so we just deleted this whole php section from here again this is our student side navigation bar page we need to modify we don't need to modify the other pages so after this we will delete our if condition too so we don't need to take the login information anymore because the person will be already logged in when they enter inside this student navigation page so here you can see we have written some queries we will be using these queries to check if the person uh, if we need to show the timer or not for this person here you can see our dollar d variable here we are actually checking for the same user uh, to have if they have any uh, book uh, they have taken from the library or not and that will be actually by checking the approved status if it is yes returned or is um, expired or blank so after this we can actually um, count the number of rows that actually we get inside our dollar b variable after running that query so here we need to write mysql i underscore okay not this mysql i underscore num underscore rows so that will count the number of rows we are getting from running that query and that is why we need to give dollar d inside the parenthesis and now let's check after running this uh, for checking that we can echo this output and now let's go back to our original page and uh, reload it again okay we can uh, get one here as i have already inserted Anika inside the table issue book here we can see that is why we are getting one because there is actually one value for Anika that uh, has the approved status as yes and now if I delete this option sorry delete this row and browse again okay there is the record is gone and now if we again refresh this page you will see that we will get zero here as this is a bit uh, small and on the left corner i will just zoom it a bit you can see there is our zero that means we are getting zero when there is no record for anika with approved status yes that means we don't need to show the um we don't need to show the timer in this uh, case so that is why we can use this um, variable for our if condition to check if we should show the timer or not let me just uh, name the variable as var1 and we can check if we have actually named any other variable with this name and for that we can um, just press ctrl plus f and then type what you want to uh, search here i need to search for var1 so i'm gonna write it here and then find all okay you can see four characters selected and found one match so only one variable matching that means this is the only one variable so we can use this variable for our if condition so let me just use this variable after this section after all this section where we have started our timer here before this timer inside this php tag i'm gonna write if the variable we can uh, use two condition not equal zero or equal one 
So here, if it is zero, that means we don't need to show it. Uh, or if we can just use it like if it is one, then we will just show our um, timer. So I'm gonna go with this one. If the variable is equal one, we need to use double equal because we are not assigning the value. We just need to compare the value if it is one or not. And we need to end the if condition after the timer ends. So here we need to start our PHP tag, close the parenthesis, and then end our PHP tag. And then after this, okay, let's run again after saving this. I'm getting some error. Let me check again. I'm defining variable var. Okay, I probably have written the name wrong. Yeah, it was var1 not just var so now again let's save this and run again okay we are not seeing any uh, timer or any words here like previously we have seen so let mm, now let's uh, insert some values here for anika with status yes and let's give some random values here and we need to also uh, give some input inside our timer table too so let's do this Okay, now if we refresh again, you will see the timer starts. Let me just change the approved status again. see we will not show uh, see the timer anymore Now you can see we will just uh, show the timer whenever the status approved status will be yes otherwise not 